So hello everybody, a very happy testimonial Tuesday to you again, part two. I'm here with our newest member to the One Network, lovely Angie. Hello, Angie. Hello, Emma. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you today? I'm absolutely fine, thank you. I'm really looking forward to uh, joining your group. Oh, and we're so pleased to have you. We really are. And you're going to tell us about the uh, incredible service that you offer. I've never met anybody like you. You're the first person that I've met that does what you do. And your background gives everybody a clue, your stunning background. So before you tell everybody about your wonderful company and what you do for people, please, could you give us a top tip that relates to what you do? Right, okay, well, my top tip is if you're going to be entertaining at home, uh, it's going to sound very logical, very simple, but it's to be organised. So the first tip I would uh, give really to be organised is to make sure if you're expecting guests to set your table the day before, and then you don't have to worry about it on the day and you can concentrate on all the other things, um, like preparing the meal. And, and even that I've got some tips on, so uh, which will actually save a lot of time because you don't want to be flustered on the day of your party. That's so brilliant. And that's, <laughs> that's really, really It's good. logical, but lots of people don't do it or they'll forget something. Simple and effective tip that will save you time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that, Angie. Thank you. So that leads us nicely then onto what you do. So please do tell us a bit about yourself, Angie. Okay, well, um, really I suppose I do a number of things but it's all to do with my passion which is entertaining at home and that's really what I want to do I love entertaining family and friends and that's what I want to share really all my tips and tricks um, and just to encourage people to entertain more at home um, especially these days when you go out to restaurants which I love doing but when I've been out lately especially on a Saturday evening with friends we found that the restaurants are just so crowded so noisy oh, that we, can't actually, oh, we mm. can't actually hear each other's conversations I mean if you're going out and there's somewhere where there's an entertainer that's something different because you're listening to them mm. but you don't necessarily I, I think want to hear the conversations that are going on on the next table so mm -hmm. that's really why I'm on a bit of a mission to uh, get people to entertain at home yeah that, I, I absolutely hear exactly what you're saying um on the weekend, we were in a very well-known, beautiful little cafe called the, um, actually, I'm not going to say who it was. Just and, in case. <laughs> um, and I won't say who it is, I won't say. And, but basically, when it gets really busy in there, it feels like people are sitting right next to you and you actually can't have a private conversation. And okay. so home entertaining is the way to go. Absolutely. <laughs> yep, and so absolutely. What was the motivation behind this? I mean, this is really your passion. You, you've been dying to yes. do something like this for many, many years. And now you're living your, your, your truth. You're, 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 you're putting yourself out there, living the dream. And you've decided to really make it happen, right? Absolutely. Tell us a bit about that then. Okay, well, uh, how it started is it was, was literally two years ago, because before then, um, a, a lifetime ago, um, I was a travel consultant. I, in fact, I had my own corporate travel company for 35 years. So that's what I've always done. But during that time, um, my, my hobby, my pastime was always interior design. And I took some courses on interior design and home styling, thinking that one day I would be able to leave the travel business, leave the security that I had there and actually do what I wanted to do. And that happened two years ago when the pandemic started, mm. travel stopped completely. And I thought, well, if I don't do what I want to do right now, I'll never do it. But travel actually helped me. Uh, as I mentioned to you uh, before, Emma, I, I had the opportunity really to travel to about some fabulous locations, some wonderful cities. And also as a travel agent, you're invited to stay at the most iconic hotels. And it was there that I, I loved, you know, the afternoon teas and the dinner and I, the dinners that were served and yeah. I managed to get friendly with some of the concierges and the, oh, the wow. managers and I, I did a couple of cookery courses actually in Italy which I absolutely okay. loved mm -hmm. and so it's things like that and I really I, the aim was that I would build up all this knowledge and experience and then one day I'd be able to kind of recreate this at home show people how to do it and um and that's really what it was all about and just you know I, I think there's nothing better than actually having people you love, your friends and your family round, and uh, around, around a table. And that's how mm -hmm. I think memories are formed. So um, I'm so passionate about it. And I just want 
everybody to be passionate about entertaining more at home. It's still lovely to go out to restaurants, don't get me wrong, I love going yeah. out. Um, but I think it's also, you know, when you think about those restaurants on a Saturday night that can be noisy, um, mm. and you have to really learn to lip read what your friends are saying because you just can't hear. So um, that's yeah. why I'm doing it. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I quite simply, I don't entertain more at home because I just don't have the time and I don't have the expertise. So somebody like you could, could you know, show me some very clever shortcuts that would give me maximum results, maximum impact, maximum show off to my friends. <laughs> and well, um, yeah. for minimal time and probably not as much money as what I think, actually. I mean, a little bit, probably not as much as what I think. Because that looks very, very expensive behind you. It looks very luxurious. It looks very opulent. Um, it looks like it took you a very, very long time. How, how long does something like that behind you take? How long oh, would that take a, a normal civilian like me? <laughs> Oh, so now I'm going to have to admit that it didn't actually take me very long at all. Um, and it wasn't very expensive. Wow. A couple of things um, I've, I've had for a long time and um, like the, the bone china that probably would be expensive. But I've also got no, we've all got a set. I mean, we've all got a set. Everyone has. And if we haven't got a tea set packed away in the lock got a, or on top I've of the kitchen cupboard somewhere, we can always borrow one. We always know a nan or a mom or friend. That's right. That's right. The other thing you can do, if you wanted to have an afternoon, you know, to say a tea party, there's something you can do very cheaply. And that's just go around all your local charity shops and you will always find um, tea sets or even, which I think is much better, you can get an eclectic mix and you can just buy the odd cup and saucer or oh, tea I love when you that. see it. Yeah, oh, I love and that's that. um, and that's what yeah. I do a lot. And that way, you could, if, if that's something you'd like to do, you can build up a collection. Yeah. Um, but I've also got a way there actually where I've used some very ordinary, um, everyday china, but I've actually changed it a little bit so people wouldn't know. So that's going to be one of my secrets that I'd love to share. But oh, the other wow. thing, um, yeah, I mean the other thing I can do, I, I love showing people how to, you can do this yourself. But mm. if you really don't have the time, then of course I can do it for you. So I can oh, well, come, over, yeah, right. come to your place, I'll bring everything with me, um, I will start everything, and I can even do something above your table like I've done here, um, oh, which can that. be temporarily, um, oh. it doesn't have to be a permanent fixture, and you can have greenery, flowers, I've even got yeah. crystals coming down. I um, want it, I want it all. <laughs> You can do all that. And uh, if I tell you where some of those things came from, which are just local high street stores, oh, you might wow. be surprised. So, um, yeah. Oh, so. gosh. Well, hopefully then this is the kind of wonderful, wonderful kind of, the, these are the kind of wonderful tips that you're going to be sharing with our lovely one members on a Friday. So that would be perfect for a fundamental lovely. Friday. So thank you so much. Angie, I'm really excited that you joined. I really am. I, might, I? Have to give you, <laughs> might have to get you to come and help us with the wedding. Yeah, I love oh, that. Oh, I'd love to. I really I'd love, love to. to find you. It's so pretty and cute. It's, it's, it's literally exactly what I would want. I don't want anything fancy or anything. To, well, I do, but I sort of don't. I just want that. <laughs> you can have this with pleasure and that's another thing of course that I have lots of centerpieces that if I've got them already I can actually um you know lend those hire those out and it makes life uh, a lot less expensive so, I really um, like it I'm having a small wedding yeah so we'll talk we'll definitely talk I love absolutely. that absolutely yeah. absolutely oh, <laughs> thank you so much Angie pleasure. um everybody if you're struggling uh, with your home entertaining, if you're anxious, if you're nervous, if you're at a loss, if you're under pressure, um, or if you would just kind of maybe like to learn how to entertain your friends without, you know, ordering a pizza, um, then absolutely give Angie a call. Yeah. What's the best way of getting hold of you, Angie? Is it to direct message you? Direct message me. I'm happy to give my um, telephone numbers out as well. Yep, give my yep. mobile number if you want me to. Yep. Um, so yeah, just give me a call on, I've got a landline as well, but I can never remember it offhand because I hardly ever use it. But I'll start with my mobile number because it's always with me. And that's 077-536-5555. Yep. Yep. Lovely. What does my email address as well? If you want, you know, <laughs> it can always reach my email as well. Thank you. Everybody, have a lovely day on the One Network. A very happy testimonial Tuesday to you. Bye from me and bye from Angie. Bye.
Well, no, nice, nice to meet you, Emma, today, and I'm hoping to meet all the members as well. Yeah, bye, everybody. Bye. Take care.